Hi, I want to use this slot to take a topical question that you've been writing in to me or phoning me about uh, each week. And uh, this week I'm looking at Tibet because a number of you have written to me uh, in this sort of vein as, as this gentleman has uh, very recently, saying, I'm extremely concerned that the British support for the Chinese Olympics is indirectly providing support for the Chinese regime's brutal treatment of the indigenous population of Tibet. And you're asking me to convey your views, obviously, to the relevant authorities, to the Foreign Commonwealth Office, the Foreign Secretary, David Miliband, uh, and what my views are. Well, I too share, uh, I think, the, 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 the shock and surprise at the pictures that have been coming out of Tibet, which seem to indicate the authorities uh, uh, treating clearly the population uh, in such a way which is totally unacceptable. And you will know that the Prime Minister has agreed to meet with the uh, Dalai Lama uh, when he comes to Britain in uh, May, which is a first. So I'm uh, obviously pleased about that. And, and the Prime Minister has spoken to uh, the Premier, Mr Wen, and told him very clearly that that was the case, that we were going to meet. Um, I understand that... Uh, the Chinese uh, Premier has said that he would meet with the Dalai Lama if uh, he's willing to say that uh, you know he doesn't support um, an independent Tibet uh, and that he doesn't condone violence. And I understand again that that certainly is the case, that the Dalai Lama is not looking for total independence of Tibet and certainly doesn't support violence. So maybe there is room for manoeuvre and Britain's strong position and relationship with China hopefully can be used to uh, actually broker some kind of dialogue that goes on to help resolve the situation. Obviously, you know, Harold Wilson once said that a week in politics was a long time. We've still got a long time to go to the start of the Olympics uh, in Beijing. I hope that we can use this time to continue to put pressure. And I, uh, uh, I know that uh, when President Sarkozy was here from France uh, literally last week, that there was uh, comments made there that there may be some international uh, pressure brought to bear but with other countries. So we'll watch this space.